often see that there's no friends literally in the world of show business, particularly in television. And let me tell you, as someone who's worked in television many years, it's a strange business. Always best to keep your own counsel has been my motto, do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Lots of people have been getting in touch regarding though, over here, the two uh, television presenters, Philip Schofield and Holly Willoughby, and the fallout to the fact that Mr. Schofield has now uh, had to resign, fired, axed, removed, whichever you want to call him, from a program that he's hosted for 21 years. Fascinating stuff, as I'm sure you'll imagine. According to sources, it was up to Miss Willoughby. She decided she no longer wished to co-present the programme with him. But what's the real truth? Fallout truly started around about two years ago, simply because Holly fell out with their joint agency, an agency that Mr Schofield is also a shareholder in. Very strange situation, don't you agree? The fact that the talent is a shareholder in his own talent agency, um, which is now aligned to a major commercial broadcaster, ITV. That was the initial fallout. And then, of course, subsequent problems meant even more distance was developed between the one's close friends. The bigger problem now for ITV is not necessarily Mr. Schofield. As far as they're concerned, he's well and truly gone, removed and not to be spoken about again on screen, but only in hush whispers on the corridors of ITV out at White City. What's interesting is now how do they develop the other person Holly Willoughby. So do expect to see pictures of Holly with other members of the This Morning family, clinking glasses, perhaps sharing a glass of wine, out in the sun, going for a snapped walk, all of course stage managed to make you think that they are a united family behind the scenes and this is simply a blip. The bigger problem now, though, is that there's such a joint venture, including, of course, other TV shows like Dancing on Ice, which one will have to go? Now, testingly, what's interesting, I also find, is that Mr. Schofield, in his very final post on Instagram, claims that he will be back to present the British Soap Awards next month live on television, and also, according to him, a brand new primetime TV show. I think that's rather optimistic, given the circumstances that are now looming. And I don't mean that unkindly. You see, once you're free from the shackles of their biggest show, and once, of course, they decide to unfold any other problems that may be attached to you, likely or not, then, of course, the channel really feels that they can't necessarily move forward with you. Now, I'm not actually relishing in the fact that Mr. Scofield is going through such a difficult time. He has a bit of a difficult reputation, to say the least. But the bottom line, this is truly the world of television. They love you when you're pulling in the ratings and loathe you when you're not. He now basically is at the receiving end of the more negative. As for Miss Willoughby, Holly Willoughby, uh, a girl who started out on children's television and rose to the very top, earning over £3 million a year, well, now it's testing times even more so for her as to whether the public will now believe this alleged friendship with whoever they decide to pair her with next. Testing times at this morning, but as ever, if you live in the United Kingdom, Scotland, Wales or Ireland, would you be tuning in? Neil Sean in the very heart of London.